Trish with Cars Plus. Is there a crack in your car's windshield and are you thinking about repairing it at home? Have you been tempted to purchase one of those windshield repair kits online? We'll show you what to expect when the package arrives and then we'll go through the simple process of repairing your windshield. We're going to test a product that has promised to deliver a miracle in a bottle. Is this windshield repair kit all that it's cracked up to be? Let's find out. Here we are again with our Pontiac Solstice. But you know the topic of the video really isn't the solstice. The topic of the video is fixing windshield cracks. Now the windshield on this car is well used. It's probably a good candidate actually for being replaced. But because the car uses a commuter car, replacing it just means we're probably going to end up with the same windshield cracks as we're hit with rocks and road debris. As you've seen, we've shown you what one looks like. What we're going to do is tell you how to go through and use a product we found on the internet we don't know if it's really going to work, but you're going to find out in this video if it does or not. The first thing you have to do is clean your window. The initial cleaning, we just washed it off with some a little bit of dish soap, vinegar, and mostly water, and cleaned it off and dried it off. But that's certainly not clean enough. The next step we did was grab a single edge razor blade, like this, brand new, and we scraped the entire windshield because there's going to be a buildup of material on your windshield. This is an easy way to do it at home and get it clean. So we scraped the entire windshield pretty much just by using a motion like this and went over the entire windshield. After that, we took glass cleaner by Sprayway. This stuff I really like. You may have a favorite cleaner, but this works really well, much better than something like Windex. And we spray it on the windshield, then we come back and we clean it off with a microfiber towel. So we did the whole windshield that way. The reason for all this preparation is because the product we're going to use needs a clean windshield to adhere and not put dirt into the cracks when we actually apply the product. The little white sticker we put on here is just a label we put on the back of the window so that you could actually see one of the cracks real easy. It's hard to focus otherwise and get you to see the crack. It's real easy to see it in person. But in addition to the fact there's one there, I've got some blue tape here and I'm going to go around and put by other locations, roughly, where there are other cracks. Now you won't be able to see them because of the way the camera will focus, but it'll show you the ones that I'm going to fix. Now I've gone through for both my reference and so that you can see that there are a series of one, two, three, four, five, six really bad cracks in this windshield. All of them caused by, as I said, rock or road debris. You may also notice if it shows up in the video, all kinds of little white specks, like I didn't clean the windshield. Nope. Those are all little teeny chips caused by rocks and road debris. As I said, this is probably a great candidate to replace the whole windshield, but because it's used as a commuter car, we're going to continue to use this windshield and fix these particular cracks. Over here close to me, we have the one that we're keeping a white piece behind because we're going to do our actual demonstration here. The other ones I'll do off camera. And we're going to get into the demonstration now. This is the product we're going to use on the windshield. We purchased it off the internet. It's advertised frequently on YouTube and like most things nowadays seems to come from China. I believe we spent about $19 and it'll come in a little pad envelope and take several weeks to show up. We don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it right now. We have our little applicator here. We're supposed to work from bottom to top. Give it a little squeeze and see if anything comes out. Here we have the tip cut off the applicator. Let's just go from bottom to top and see if our stuff will soak in. And we're supposed to take a little piece of plastic, which they provide, and put on top of it. Now, if you wanted the immediate reaction, I'm not impressed by what that crack looks like. But we're going to see if the repair will actually work. I'm going to tape the plastic down. Now, what you have to do at this point, you have to take it outside and put it in the sun for 10 to 30 minutes. So we're going to set it in full sun and show you the results of the various spots. Here we 
we are back with the car. Definitely 30 minutes later out in full sunlight. This is supposed to cure with UV. We're going to take the handy dandy fresh razor blade they gave us and show you something they don't show you in the video on YouTube when they're advertising it. And that's the fact that you're going to have to come back and scrape this stuff off your windshield. They make it look like all you got to do is put it on and the crack disappears and you're all done. Well, that's not true. You have to come back and scrape off the excess that is UV cured. Now we've scraped that off. I'm gonna peel off my arrow and I'm gonna tell you when you look at it, this looks like a complete fail. It's supposedly supposed to have capillary action and go into the crack and you're not supposed to be able to see it. Well, I can see it just as well as before. I wouldn't buy this for anything. 